The rectangular marquee tool is located up here in the toolbar and you'll see that its shortcut key is M. To basically use it all you have to do is just click on a corner and drag. I can jump that selection to a brand new layer using the shortcut key Command J. Control J on a PC. So you see now I have a new layer. If I turn off the background layer, there it is with my selection. A couple of other things about the rectangular marquee tool. If you hold the shift key down, it will constrain your selection to a square. Again, Command D to deselect. If you hold your Option key down, Alt key on a PC, while you're dragging a selection, it drags out from the center of the selection rather than from a corner. And that's very helpful sometimes. Again, Command D to deselect, Control D on a PC. Now, let's say I've started a selection, but it's in the wrong place. And I really need to move it into place, but I know if I let go of the space bar or the the mouse that uh, the selection will be made. If I hold the space bar down while I'm making my selection, then that allows me to move the selection around on the screen. And then when I let go of the space bar, I can continue my selection until I have it just right. There are a couple of options up here in the option bars that you should understand. These little icons, uh, this is your, if you hover over them first, you'll get uh, what they do. This is a new selection. This one means add to the selection. So if I add, that got added. This one is select, uh, subtract from the selection. So that subtracts from a selection. This one intersects. So wherever I draw a selection now, where the two selections intersect will become selected. Now for the feathering. You need to adjust your feathering first. But let's say I want to feather this, so oh, 24 pixels. When I make a selection, it feathers that selection. Let me jump that to a new layer and show you what it looks like. In fact, I'll uh, turn the background layer on and fill it with black so you can see better. So you see that the, 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 the selection has been feathered, um, which is, is helpful sometimes when you need that soft edge. There are a couple of shortcut keys. There are a couple of shortcut keys for these, if you have a selection made and you wish to subtract from the selection, if you hold your Option or your Alt key, you'll notice that the cursor has a minus symbol in it and that will allow you to subtract from the selection. If you wish to add to a selection, you can hold down the Shift key and that adds to the selection. If you hold down both the Shift and the Option key, that does the intersection. That's the marquee. Often, when you need to make a rectangular selection, the rectangular selection tool can't quite do it uh, because it's a rectangle. It's not in the shape of that dollar bill. But you can still use the rectangular marquee tool to help you make this selection. So for example, zero pixels feathering. So let's say I start at that corner and make a selection. It's not perfect yet, but if I 
come inside the selection and do a right mouse button click, there are some things that I can do. One is transform the selection. And that works just like using the free transform tool that you are learned about in an earlier lesson. So if I hold my command key or control key on a PC and click on a corner, I can drag that corner only down to where it needs to be. And I, again, I'm still holding down my command key and I can move that corner over and then I can move that corner over and so forth. It's still not quite perfect but it's much better. I can go in now and I can um, I can warp that selection. And then when I hit return, you can see that I've got it nearly complete. So just be aware that you have all of those transform functions right within a rectangular marquee selection.